Welcome, comment community, to another episode of Collision Division. We are your host. I am DJ. And I'm a card. And today, we were in the studio, and we were just, you know, messing around, and we felt like this is a must-need topic, and this is our top three um, best 90s sitcoms. And believe you me, there's there's going to be a ton of sitcoms we're going to miss. Yep. Listen, this, this is an opinionated subject. Everybody has their own opinion about their top three. That's why we would like you to comment down at the bottom. You know, subscribe, like, tell us your top three because there's no way we're gonna hit every single oh my god there thing was, that came out in the nineties. Like, there were was was so many talk. There were so many sitcoms and like nineties babies. We nineties was the golden era of television. I mean, these kids these days are, are really don't know what they're missing because this is the best of the best. <laughs> Like 90s was true. the best of the best. Though. That, that is true. Well, we'll jump straight into it. Um, from three to one, uh, number three, I have Say by the Bell. Of course, everybody knows what it's like to have a bunch of friends and you go through high school. You know, you may you have the popular kid, of course. Yeah, there's always a popular kid. You know, Zach Morris, popular girl, Kelly mm-hmm. Kapowski, smart girl, Jesse Spano. Yep. You know, the jock, A.C. Slater, the dork, Screech. Um, you know, a lot of those characters changed yeah. throughout, you know, different seasons. I know Tora was there. Um, and then uh, <clears throat> Kelly came back. Um, it's just that Say by the Bell, which was on air for 1989 to 1998, was that's what you looked up to as high school. That's what you thought was going to happen. In that high school. A, yeah, that was the closest thing to high school. Like, just Zach going from girl to girl. I mean, what yeah. what what guy didn't... Every guy wanted to Didn't want to be Zach, <laughs> you know. You know, Screech, <laughs> at the end of the day, you know, he, he's a good friend. What, what what else can you say about Screech? He's, he's a smart guy, great friend. Kelly, the All-American girl. I don't know any guy, you know, that didn't have a crush on Kelly Kapowski. Or Jesse at that. There's nothing wrong with a, a smart, tall girl. I mean, she, she was gorgeous. Um, Lisa, the fashion expertise, you know, she was another um, one who pretty much was a pretty pretty high ranking in, at the high school. I'd say she was popular. I would like to think she was popular. Um, but again, you know, Saved by the Bell, you know, they went through trials and tribulations together. They end up becoming, you know, the best of friends. Then they even followed them a little bit when they went to college. So for me, Say by the Bell is my number three. My number two, I, I couldn't really pick a number two. I have two in the number two spot, if that makes any sense at all. Um, so like a tie. It's a tie, right. Oh, okay, right. Okay, it's a tie. So it's a tie. tie. So Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and Martin. I mean, <laughs> I listen, listen. My, my thought process is is like this okay martin would beat will smith's ass like martin would beat beat up will smith i feel but but okay okay go ahead when it came down to the girls will smith had a hands down will smith had a hands down will smith had of course because martin had gina and that was it i understand that i understand that but will went to lisa more towards you know, the end of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. But if you look at Will Smith's catalog, I mean, Stacy Dash, uh, um, Vivica Fox. Yeah. Like, this this guy had any popular person at yeah. that time, <laughs> Will had. <laughs> on, on top of the other girls, we probably don't even know about. Oh, that is but, true. But, you know, not, not the. That's a big part of why I chose Will Smith but even Carlton had a few girls too Carlton had a few stallions yes even even Carlton Carlton had a few stallions <laughs> I mean just the the whole vibe of the show with family um being there for one being there for one um one another um I I just thought that Fresh Prince was the epitome of what you wanted as a family you know that yeah they were rich he came from a poor family but you know, it it was a great television show. Martin, I thought was more f- funnier than Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Uh, Martin was was more 
of a character okay. than Will Smith, uh, which is hence why they made Bad Boys together because they work oh, so they, well together. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I, I, I can't say Fresh Prince is better than Martin. I can't say Martin was better than Fresh Prince. I think equal, they both were really good television shows. And number one, Boy Meets World from 1993 to 2000. Listen, okay. let me tell you something. Okay. okay. Let me tell you something. This show, anything you, you needed to know about life, all you had to do was watch Boy Meets World. I guarantee there was an episode that related to what you were going through. I, I Me personally, I couldn't get into it. I, I, um, what? No, I'm sorry. You, Boy, <sighs> Boy Meets World was not that show for me. And didn't Disney do a spinoff? Girl, Girl Meets, Meets World. World. Let, let me tell you something. Girl Meets World mm. could not hold Boy Meets World's junk strap. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they can. World. Girl Meets World was terrible. Hey, terrible yeah, 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 can, yeah. opposed to Boy Meets World. True. That is true. But hey. Corey, Sean Hunter, best of friends, going through high school together, going through college together, at the wedding. Like, it, it doesn't get any better than that. Corey and Topanga met when they were little kids, grew up together as well. Like, Everything life entails, that's Boy Meets World. You can learn great lessons from Boy Meets World. Mr. Feeney never left them. You know, the, the parents, Alan and Amy, were there. Okay. Had their back through through thick and thin. Um I it's it's hard to name a show, in my opinion. Again, this is all opinionated. Okay, okay. Better than Boy Meets World. That's 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 just me. That's just me. I mean, how about yours? There was a lot of shows in the '90s, sitcom wise. Sitcom wise, so, crazy, crazy. Okay, coming from me personally. Okay, what what wild and outlandish things do do you have in your mind? Now this is what I got going on. So my number three, I'm gonna have to give it to Martin. Okay. I know Martin was your number two, and it uh, came. Uh, Martin's Martin's in top three, so it doesn't matter. It, it, it's in top Martin, three. Martin is top three, and then I mean, like you said, the mini characters. Yeah. Like you got to think about all the characters he he dressed up as. Right. Mm -hmm. Which my personal favorite was Old Otis. That that was my yeah. favorite. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's always one old guy who thinks he can beat everybody's it's behind. Always. It's always one. Always that one, and then you know, it was actually kind of cool on how like he did his neighbors. Cause you know you had Pam and then you had Bruh Man. <laughs> Come on, Bruh Man. <laughs> Bruh Man was my favorite character out of all of them, but I'm gonna definitely have to give it to Martin for top three. He would be number three. Okay. Now my number two would actually have to go to In Living Color. Okay, I, I see. Yep. Yep. Hey, and me me personally, I like comedy. Listen, I have no. Disagreement with, with with in living color. In living color was awesome. In living color, like Jamie Fox, uh, Jim Carrey, the Wayne Bros. In living color was that like the skits that they came up with. Yeah, and then you know David they touched Alan on Greer, Tommy Davidson. Yeah, yeah, and they touched on a lot of controversial things too. Right at that point, you know, a lot of people yeah. didn't want to speak out about certain things. But, exactly. You know, they in living color pushed the pushed the bar. And Living Color was that show, and that's all to Living Color. That's number two. Like right. that show was all. That will always be a great show to me. And then my number one spot. Actually, you know what? Let me stop right there. Let me let me slow down. Okay. What else you got? My honorable mention. Oh, the honorable mentions. Before I get to my number one, my honorable mention will have to go to the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Okay, I, I can see that. I can see that. That was a yeah. huge um, following when that came out. It was any kid yeah. that didn't watch. Power Rangers. I mean, I were you living under a rock? Exactly. Like, like <laughs> you didn't want to go outside with your friends and be the the Red Ranger uh, or Green Ranger, my personal favorite. But you know. oh man, don't get me started with the Green Ranger. You know. Oh, uh, but yeah, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now these other spinoffs that they got, mm, I don't really it's like Mega them. Force and and all this other stuff. Nah, nah, I, I didn't like it. But. No. I mean, Let me tell you something, kids. It will never be better than the original. The original Power true, Rangers true. started this whole thing. The original. Mighty Morphin, that was the original. <laughs> what everybody else might tell you, no. No, that, that's Mighty not Morphin. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Exactly. Yes. So Trini, Mighty, yep. Jason, Kim, mm -hmm. Billy, Zach, Tommy. Period. 
That's all you need to know. <laughs> Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now, my number one sitcom in the 90s will have to go to Seinfeld. Okay. T- listen, Seinfeld was ahead of his time. It was a show Seinf- ahead of his yes. time. Yes, it was. Like, Seinfeld had the jokes. They delivered, and then... Absolutely. The setup. No suit for you. No suit for you. <laughs> the, the suit Nazi. <laughs> like, the jokes. Like, if you watch one episode, it doesn't matter what episode it is. If you just watch it and then watch how they set up the jokes, and it's just like, what? You you wouldn't even think it went that far. Right. Like, Kramer. Anything with Kramer. Kramer was on another level at that time. Yes. You know, I, I understand he, you know, made the comments he made, but... Mm-hmm. During that time period, Kramer was on his game. Yes. On his A game. Yep. So. I mean, there's a lot of shows, you know, it, it was so hard to pick. Mm-hmm. Again, these are opinionated. It's history. My three. There's a lot of shows, you know, Friends, Everybody Loves Raymond, Home Improvement, Sister Sisters, Step by Step, Family Matters, Living Single, Hanging with Mr. Cooper, Simpsons, Full House, Blossom, Cheers. It's just Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Like, it's just, there were too many shows um, in the 90s that were really, really good. And I feel like the kids in this generation will, will never, nothing in this generation that comes out will never They will never compete. understand. Cause they will never compete with what, the 90s sitcoms. What, what do y'all got now? Reality shows? Yeah, yeah that, that's exactly what they have. What's like, that, Love and Hip Hop. Yeah. Uh, 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 um, all this other reality stuff that reality. everybody's watching now. I, I, listen, and, yeah, the '90s was where it's at. <laughs> yeah, all the good shows were in the '90s. So, well, again, we are the Collision Division. My name is DJ, and my name is Makari, and we are signing off.